Hello, everyone. Welcome to Guild Business on Guild Business Entrepreneurship. I'm Caitlin Tips, and I am a public services librarian senior with Plano Public Library, and I will be presenting today's program. Before we begin, there's just a few ground rules that we've set up for today's program. Um, before we get into those, I am joined by Heather, who will be monitoring the chat. Please say hi, Heather. Hello, everyone. If you have questions today, please submit them into the Q&A, and I will get them to Caitlin. And then if you are having any technical difficulties, please log out and then uh, rejoin us through your Zoom link, and that usually fixes any kind of problem you might be having. Thank you so much, Heather. All right, so those ground rules. You will be muted during this class and we have your video blocked. You will only see the instructor's screen. At the top of your screen, you can find an exit full screen option if you need to get to other things on your computer. You are welcome to ask questions or request that the instructor repeat information at any time during today's program. You should see an icon at the bottom of your screen that says chat. Click on that to open the chat window. Chat is set to be seen by library staff only. However, if you prefer, you may also use the Q&A feature. As Heather mentioned, it's located at the bottom of your screen to ask questions. Please note that any, any inappropriate questions or comments will cause your immediate removal from today's class. For all questions, we may answer you directly in the chat or Q&A box. Hold the question until a break at the end of class or ask question or ask the question at the time if it is pressing. We will be using the instructor screen to demonstrate and may share additional resources in chat as well. A recording of today's of the program today will be available in a few days on our YouTube channel. So if you would like to watch today's program and, and practice any of the exercises with the recording later, that is an option. With the ground rules out of the way, let's get started. Today, we will be providing an overview of the Gale Business Entrepreneurship Database, including database features and a demonstration. This database is available to all Plano Public Library card holders for free through the library's TechShare database subscription. If you are not a Plano Public Library card holder, please check with your local library to learn more about database availability and access. Before we begin, we need to mention a few disclaimers. The instructors are not business experts. The purpose today is to provide general information about library resources, as well as an overview of the Gale Business Entrepreneurship Database. However, for business expertise, please connect with a Dallas SCORE mentor. Mentors are available each week at Schimmelfinnick Library for a free consultation. For more information and to register for a consultation with a Dallas SCORE mentor, please visit planolibrary.org. And if you are unfamiliar with SCORE, it stands for the Service Corps of Retired Executives. And they are mentors with plenty of business years of expertise. All right, with that out of the way, let's start with what is Gale Entrepreneurship? Gale Business Entrepreneurship is a comprehensive database covering all aspects of starting, financing, and managing a small business, including, but not limited to, accounting, finance, taxes, human resources, management, marketing. In, the, in this database, you will find hundreds of sample business plans, how-to guides, articles from small business journals, and more. This database is organized into four feature categories, start, plan, fund, and manage. Are there any questions at this time? There are not. Okay. So we will now discuss each of those categories more in depth. All right. So database features, the plan section. Plan is 
focused on business plan research and other information to help your business get started. Topics in this category include budgeting, such as creating budgets for your brick and mortar shop, business ideas, that beginning brainstorming stage, simply trying to figure out what ideas will work for a business endeavor, as well as business plans. Maybe you've heard about what business plans are, but you don't know what they include. This section includes business plans from real companies that you can research and take a look at all the aspects that they included in their business plan, from their marketing strategies to their proposed funding options and more. We'll take a look at that um, later in the demo. Market research. Market research is essential to the planning process of your business. Market research allows you to understand who your target audiences are, how to communicate most effectively with them. And this all plays a part in your marketing scheme. And these are topics within this section. The next section is start. The start feature is focused on information related to business types and structures within the United States. Topics in this category include trending small businesses. For instance, if you want to see what type of businesses are rising currently, you can take a look at what businesses are currently seeing a huge trend. You can also research just in general topics on entrepreneurship. Maybe you're wanting to learn more about what it takes to be an entrepreneur or learn more from other entrepreneurs, their story of how they got started. Home-based businesses. Maybe you're not looking for a brick and mortar shop right away. Maybe you're looking at trying to operate out of your own home for something more cost and budget friendly. Franchises. If you're looking to buy a franchise, maybe you want to look at what that entails, what are available and what that includes. Business certifications. There are a number of business certifications for businesses that can help offset costs and funding for staff or even operational costs. Business structures. There's not just one way to operate and run a business and there's multiple different structures that your business can fall into or um, that you can plan to operate from. Legal entities and networking. Networking is essential to business operation. The more people you know, the more you're able to communicate and potentially sell your, your product or service to. Um, so I definitely can't uh, emphasize networking enough. And finally, we do have fund. Uh, the fund feature is focused on exploring different types of funding sources for your small business. This is probably the topic I get the most questions about um, when doing any kind of business reference at the library. The fund feature is really like topics within it include angel investors, venture capital, government funding options, loans and grants, self-funding, traditional lending sources, and untraditional lending sources. Um, because when you're trying to start a business, business um, chief, chiefly of importance is how are you going to make money? How are you going to get money to set yourself up to make more money, right? Um, and that does come with a cost when you're looking to either lease or rent a space to operate a business out of a brick and mortar store. You have to think about what are your initial startup costs? Or if you're trying to operate off of a nonprofit, that even comes with its own stipulations and concerns. So those are definite topics you can research within this section of the entrepreneurship database. And we do have the manage section. The manage feature is focused on helping to maintain and grow small businesses once you're up and operating. 
So maybe you already have a business that's up and running and you're looking for some more information on just how to manage your business. This does include more information on financing, on expanding your business, strategies for business management, selling strategies, as well as emerging business technology. So if you're looking for ways to improve or update features of an existing business, this might be the section that you need to gravitate towards. So that those are the four main sections. We're now going to hop over into the database and we're going to play around with it. And I'm going to show some consistent features as well as talk through more of how you can find some of the things I mentioned earlier while I'm making that switch. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat. I'm happy to answer any thoughts that have come up or to um, repeat any information shared. So just one second. All right. So we should see here now the Plano Library website. So before we jump into the actual database, I do want to show how you access this. You go online to our library website page so you can find this either by going to planolibrary.gov, or if you go to the city's website and click library, that will take you to our page as well. On this page, once you're here, what I find to be the easiest way to access our database is actually by hovering over library and in this drop-down menu that appears under learn, select research and learn. It should take you to a page that appears like this, has a list of all databases, but if you click business, it'll show a list of all of our business databases and it is organized alphabetically. So a few of my favorites here, we do have Udemy Reference Solutions is wonderful for market research and competitive analysis. Morningstar Investing Center, LinkedIn Learning, you know, legal forms, and a whole slew of other business-related topics. But what we are focusing on today is entrepreneurship. All right, so we are going to click Access Now for that database. Before I do so, I do want to share that if you want another um, introduction to this database, Gail has provided a recording that goes over some similar information um, as well, but it doesn't have the ex example searches. Alrighty, so we're going to access now and it's going to take us to this main page. All right, so as you can see, like in that screenshot, we have our search bar up at the top you have that text share databases icon and we have a top edit bar. Now, if you're following along at home or on your de own device, before you get to this page, you may actually come to a login. Um, that login is your library card number. I'm on the city, on the Plano Public Library's um, internet, so I'm already logged in. Okay. If we scroll down further on this page, we come to topics of interest, which is just a carousel of some of the topics that we mentioned from each of the four sub, sub -dat databases. So trending small businesses, you can click and explore that topic, budgeting, financing your business, loans and grants. And if you click, it just resets to the very beginning. Scroll down further, and you have those four topics, four sections that we just mentioned. And then below that, it'll try and share, uh, point the direction to another useful database. Gill Legal Forms is awesome if you're looking for any legal tools for your business. All right. So 
what we're going to first do is I want to point out these features here that I briefly touched on, this little extra bar here under the search bar. You've got glossary. So if you ever come across any unfamiliar business terms, you can click that and do a quick search on a topic. Like for instance, if you weren't sure what LLC was, you could type that in and it's immediately going to bring up that term. It'll tell you what it stands for as well as give you that colloquial abbreviation. So I find that just really useful when you're starting out and if you come across any terms that you're like, what is this? If you click browse topics, it's going to take you to some predetermined, like these are trending consistent terms that are of interest to those interested in entrepreneurship. And then if you're ever doing a bunch of research and you're like, oh, five pages ago, I came across this information, you can actually go to a search history and it will pull up everything as far as the pages that you visit. And you can, when you have more of a search history, you can scroll down and go back to some piece that you managed, that you um, were researching. And then finally, there's highlights and notes. So for any piece of information that you're researching, if you go to a specific page, um, you are able to highlight it and it will be saved in this section for you to um, access later. Alrighty, again, I don't have anything now, but maybe in the course of this class, we will have something to show how that works by the end. So if you ever wanna go back to the homepage, you can just click up here on the top bar for entrepreneurship, it takes you back to this homepage. What we didn't come across as we were exploring each of these links was title list and get link. So title list, we can actually see within it all the different Gale databases because we're only on the that home page. There's really nothing for us to access. So we're going to go back to the entrepreneurship database, and then there's Git link, which is more useful when we're on an article. It's a shareable link. So as you can see on the page, it's just popped up with a, a link to this home screen. So it's a great if you're compiling any kind of research list or you wanna save a link to come back to later. Alrighty. So now let's go through some of these um, subcategories. Let's start with plan. So within plan, we have those topics that were outlined. I think what I find most beneficial from this section is business plans because business plans are really crucial for anyone looking to start a business or even if you've been in business, if you don't have a business plan, this can really help you structure or plan out growth opportunities or to request any additional funding for endeavors you're wanting to do. So within this section, when you click a topic, you actually have the option to search within results. Below that though, before you even search within results, you can also kind of browse things within this. So it does have a business plan section. So if you were just like, I wanna see just a business plan in general, without knowing what type of business plan you're searching for, like if you wanted to research a specific type of business plan in case you were interested in starting a similar type of business, um, this is where you would go just to browse anything. If you were looking for something specific, we'll try that in the search bar. Then there's also recommended resources, which is going to be more generic. It may have more articles. This first one is a great example of that business plan as it appears in the Encyclopedia of Management. So it's going to give you a very 
um, broad level overview of what a business plan is. So let's go ahead and click that first. So you can see here, it gives you basically a definition and then it gives you some history of what it includes, what components are included in a business plan. Oh, it even has some scanned elements from the material it's, it's pulling from. So if you were ever uncertain of what a business plan is or what it included, you may start with this more broad level view. And up here, again, you can see that we've got a few more options. Now that we've selected an article, you have the option to cite this, which will just pop up with different bibliographic tools for citation. You can also send it to your own Google Drive, your OneDrive, or email to yourself. You can also download it to be viewed later on your own device. Or you can print if you're more of a hard copy kind of person. And also you have that link. Now highlight and notes. How do we do that? So you should have the option. Aha, once you highlight things, it does pop up with these color options. So you could change it to purple, orange, even pink. However you like to organize your information. You can also add notes to something. If you're like, oh, I need this. I need to follow up on this piece of information. Whatever idea it sparks, you can add that into whatever you highlight and come back to it later, which is a really nice feature when you're doing a lot of initial research on this type of information. Okay. However, well, let's say, uh, how do I get back? You just click results. It takes you back to that page for business plans and you scroll down, it's going to be everything you had previously. But if we continue just to navigate this page, we have again, magazines and journals. So these are going to be specifically from business related magazines and journals. And they're gonna be generic, nothing specific, unless you put in a search term. And then there's also directories. So if you're looking for more contact-based information, you can also refer to this directory. Then we also have, as we scroll down, we've got news articles. So these are going to be news related to business plans, or most likely in this section, it's going to be news of, news of new businesses that are opening um, or funding opportunities. They have added recently this video and audio section. Um, this is relatively new since the last time we taught this class. Um, but they have some short videos pulled from other aspects of our collection. So this one pulls directly from the New York Times. And we do have some audio options related as well. And then it will uh, sometimes try and uh, suggest some other websites that may benefit you from an information standpoint. So that is what this page initially looks like. But like I said, I think um, what's going to be most beneficial is looking at a business plan. So if we look at this project management consultant business plan, we're going to go ahead and click it. You can see all of the information up here at the top. We've got all the same features. And if we scroll down, you can see some of those elements that were in that encyclopedia article. You can see it has that executive summary. It's got an industry analysis. If you're wanting to find consistent elements for yourself to refer back to later, you can always highlight those sections in multiple business plans for comparison later. market analysis, 
a question I get co commonly for business plans, which we don't teach that class. We partner with Dallas Score to teach how to create your business plan is why do you need one? Who does this, who is this written for? And I said earlier, you know, it can help you focus in on what your goals are for the growth of your business or planning, not just what you want to do in three months, but in three years, right? But a business plan is also written for different stakeholders in, in your planning. It can be for finance. If you're wanting to get financing from a bank, you will need a business plan. So looking at all of these different pieces, seeing if they've got elements like this, this large chart, seeing something like that could tell you, oh, I need to somehow get some of these pieces of information and put it in a visual way. So you can see this is quite a long business plan. Actually, I've seen longer and I've seen shorter. There's really no wrong or right answer in regards to how long or how short. You just have to think about who is your audience going to be for your business plan and simply getting something started on a page um, honestly helps more than anything than just simply starting with nothing because you can always go back and edit. So we've reviewed these different elements, these different resources. We've taken a look at business plans. Now let's search within the results. Does anyone have a suggestion uh, that they would be willing to share in chat or Q&A um, for what type of business plan we should research? I'll give it a minute. And Heather, if we get that suggestion in chat or q and I'll type it in. But after a minute, if we don't have anything, I'll, I'll go ahead with an example. Nothing so far. Oh, um, somebody just put a consultant or okay. rental homes. Okay. We can probably do both. Do we have any specific consultant type or just consultant in general? See, I'll give just a moment to see if Ryan wants to throw anything else in there. Uh, he says general, just general consultant. Okay. Let's see what we get just from typing consultant business plan. All right, kind of doubled down on that. So as you can see, it's got one, I think I maybe overdid it. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. And we're gonna try searching just for consulting, consulting services. And you can see your search terms do matter. So I've got 188 different type of consulting, um, consulting business plans here. So it's only showing a few. So we want to view all 188. And within this, you can actually narrow it down further by either publication date or subjects, sometimes document type. If you worked in any kind of database, these should be familiar for you. But if we do subjects, we can actually scroll down and see within this some more specifics. So we've got some on the healthcare industry. We've got a lot of with the consulting services subject category applied. We've got environmental consulting, energy management, technology consulting, educational services consulting, whole bunch. I just want to show this off because I do know that consulting is a very popular, um, very popular business endeavor, and there's a lot of room for growth with being a consultant. So looking at those there, we've got a lot of options to scroll through. And we're going to scroll through. And oh, I've noticed that there's the date. 
So these first few have 2024 and it's sorting by newest. Just to get a idea of how old material is in here, we've got as old as 1993. I think that's one thing to keep in mind with your results is you probably want to make sure that you're operating off of current information. So make sure that you do have that current year selected. So the results that you scroll through should be either from this current year or the past fiscal year is what I would recommend. Okay, so wind power consulting, that's interesting. So, but also underwater welding, that's kind of cool too. Let's take a look at this resource. Okay, so looking at this business plan, again, prior to that, I was just highlighting common elements but it will try and help you out with your search terms. So on this page, consulting is highlighted. And from that, it has also tried to highlight some adjacent terms. Now it's not gonna be every single time consultancy is in this document, but it does, does pull some of that initial search term. You can see that it's again, highlighted that orange. So again, scrolling down, you can see some common elements that were found in the other business plan, even though they were completely different business topics and categories. Personnel is a consistent one. Compensation was another section. Growth strategy. You can see this business plan has it marked out from year one all the way through year five with even further long-term plans included. So a lot of really good information in here. So if you know specifically what category, what subject of business you're wanting to do yourself, looking through someone else's business plan and seeing what they have included, what they felt was very important to include in their business plan does a lot of the homework for you as far as what sections do I include? What kind of information or data supports this section? How do I gear this to be what I need? The other thing of note I will point out is it does tell you over here some similar articles or documents that will be relevant to what you selected. So that's where knowing where this um, database keeping track of your search history is really beneficial because sometimes you can kind of go down a rabbit hole by looking at related articles or clicking any of the related subjects. And if you ever are like, oh, this wasn't what I'm looking for, you can just click results again and it takes us back to our initial search. So if we wanted to instead look at project management consultant, you can click on that and see again, what are those consistent elements? And back to results. And if we want to do a new search for what was the other topic? We've got two other topics here, um, rental homes or civil engineering. Oh. Both of those are really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go back again. And actually I'm gonna go to the very beginning because I wanna make sure that we are searching within business plans and on the, this page. Okay, so rental properties. So looks like this is a bit smaller as far as the results go. We've got 13 business plans. But hey, some of these are pretty cool. Let's see. 
So that's where, you know, we were pretty generic in our initial search term. So what we're finding here are a lot of older re results and some that are not necessarily on the topic, right? So I had just on rental properties. What I want to do now is go ahead and revise that search, right? So I'm going to actually search for rental homes and select business plans. And because we tweaked that language, we got home inventory business. And then we have, because we included home, a few other options here. I think what's probably going to be beneficial is either looking at real estate investment companies or this first one, which is home inventory business, which I don't think is necessarily current. Let's try Airbnb. So we've got more articles. There's only two business plans. Let's try vacation rentals business plans. Huh. Not finding exactly what we're looking for. Let's take a look at this home inventory business and maybe This is one I think it might be beneficial to start looking within articles and then hone, on, hone in on some of those subject terms used within that industry to find a business plan. Um, this does get updated pretty frequently, um, but it could be that we just don't have a business plan documented yet for rental properties, which I find quite industry like interesting because that has been an industry for a few years now. Um, so it would be very interesting to get a business plan from that industry. We may hold on to that for ex more exploration and other parts of the database. We're going to go back to results and we're going to hit pause on this one. Oh, that, there's some, there's some maybe accommodation rental, maybe that's something. Yeah, a lot of these are off topic. Hmm. So there might be more, more resources in the other par part of the database. Uh, we're gonna jump into civil engineering though and see what we can find as far as the business plans within this section. Okay. So we've got a few options, a few that are again, kind of off the topic, um, but okay. Engineering management consultant. Let's take a look at that. We see again, Consistent verbiage, executive summary. So there's some things that just cross industry as far as using the same language. Description of market, location, description of competition, management and key personnel. Let's see, we've got financial da data. Do we have any like charts popping up? No, so this one's actually relatively short, all things considered. They've got more data within images than they do other informatics. So that's where the differences can come into play with your business plan. So it's useful to go through a few different types to figure out what you're really looking for. All right. Are there any other questions as far as researching business plans within this database?
I'm going to give you a moment to ruminate. I'm just going to hop over into business ideas just to show you what pops up here. It's going to follow this format on each of the pages, business plans, recommended resources, et cetera, no matter which topic you select. But the information um, in each section may be skewed differently based on um, that topic. It's going to show, show up mostly here in the recommended resources and this top section of business plans. No questions so far. All right. Thank you very much for the update. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start looking at that start section now, though. So start directly under that plan section. And you do, again, have these topics here. So we've got trending small businesses home-based businesses, franchises, a lot of different sections and really, really good information. So let's go ahead and just click on trending small businesses for fun. Like I said, it's gonna follow that format for each section. Now within start, looking at some popular businesses, um, what's gonna be more interesting is probably just looking up this trending small businesses report and seeing what they're seeing within this. Now, this is from 2021. So that makes me a little skeptical of how current it is, but that's where you can also search trending small businesses. And it's gonna take you again to that page, but scroll down And within the news, you may find some different types of topics than you did in that initial article. Magazines and journals, that's 23,000 results. Narrow it down by subjects. If you know what industry you're going to be in, so let's say Let's see, contract manufacturing, industrial, a lot of different kind of industries included here. But if you know that, for instance, you want to do consulting, then you may be actually looking at do, 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 do. I saw it there briefly. You may just look at retail trade and see what happens. You can see just topics that are very, very um, current and popping up in the business news world. But how does this help you look at popular businesses? If these topics are currently trending, then there's probably a business opportunity there and more people trying to um, zero in on that opportunity. Jumping over to news, it's the same thing. If you can see what topics are currently trending in business news, then there are a lot of business opportunities there for starting something to fill that need. So it may require a little bit more scrolling in this section with that initial um, popula popularity topic. Let's go a little bit more specific then. So I mentioned certifications. So if your business is going to be minor minority veteran woman owned, um, there are a lot of certifications available. 
more than just what's listed even there in the heading. There are environmental certifications a business can get. There are um, tons that you can find on the SBA website. So if we scroll down, you can find it's going to give you initial queries about certifications. All right, scrolling down, scrolling down. This website section here is where if you're not sure what certifications are there, um, I would actually recommend taking a look at different websites that are pulled because you can see here, I had already mentioned the SBA um, website. This is a small business ownership, your next mission, let the SBA help. The Small Business Association actually has a slew of information on certifications. So this is where, again, this database is meant to point you in the direction to getting the best access of information for your business. You can see Minority Business Development Agency. Let's scroll down. There's further things that you can find. Articles on being successful. Business loans grant opportunities, and more. But let's go back and actually search within this. So without kind of looking for anything too specific, let's just look for an environmental certification. Oh, it didn't like what I put in. It worked earlier. Let's try it at the very top. So we did environmental design certification. I was not using all the terms that it needed to work. But you can see here in the results, it's got a lot of information. It pulled some business plans for different environmental stores or environmentally responsible business practices for a couple different options. It's pulled some articles on different certifications, so LEED Platinum certification. If that's not something we're aware of, we could do a search for that as well. As well as looks like striving for sustainability, there might be other resources we could look for within that article. Let's see if we are even more generic. We just go small business certificates. So scrolling down, there's at least 15 business plans that have some kind of certificate. Uh, we've got some different resources. Again, the SBA that I mentioned earlier, that one's probably going to have the most information for certification um, on one of the many op opportunities there. And director use, again, it's going to really try and push you in that direction. What I'm finding from these results that's probably most beneficial is looking at that directory pushing you to the SBA and the business plans to actually research how other companies have who have that certification, how it's benefiting their business. So sometimes you do have to really, in your research, put together those pieces of information to get the most out of it. All right, now let's see here. Let's go back to fund and let's look for loans and grants. Gives you again that topic at the top, gives you results within it, specific things for grant writing if you're looking at a nonprofit. A lot of things initially on grants, so 
Ah, here we go. How to build business credit. Business loans for startups. That's from 2022. So let's go up here to the top and let's say startup loan. And we've got a few articles. Get your business funded, figuring out finances, show me the money, finding financing. But these results are pretty old. Let's see here. We could ask for just the past year and there's no results. So again, it comes down to your search, search results. So if we just type loans, publication date, past year, we're going to have a lot more resources. And it's a broad view. I saw something up there for different parts of the world, global front. So if we want to narrow it down, we could do that as well. If you ever have specific inquiries to put in, you're going to be, um, you're going to have to watch your language, but usually you'll get more results that are actually geared towards what you're trying to do. So let's see here. Bakery funding. So if we were trying to fund a bakery, we could just do that search and see what comes up. Looks like we may have actually found something on how some food industry got funding, but it's a few years out of date and it doesn't look like it would benefit us. So that's an example of a very generic term, giving you only a few results, not necessarily anything that is geared to that specifically. But if we just type in bank loans for small businesses, we've got a lot more recommended resources that probably are better geared towards our search term. All right, we're getting close on time. So I do wanna jump into manage, managing your employees. This is definitely a database that's just fun to explore and research within. Looking up difficult employees. Looking up, maybe we want more help on what should be included in an occupational handbook um, or an employee handbook. Ah, hiring and training your staff. This could give you a lot of information depending on what type of business uh, you're starting and what it will require. So this one, it looks like it's geared towards food trucks, um, but I, I would not doubt that there's something more specific for different industries and hiring staff. Alrighty, so that is pretty much the entrepreneurship database. As I mentioned earlier, we can click and see everything that we highlighted and what articles we did, what those terms were and what color. We can also go back to our search history and see everything that we put in, as well as how many results we got with that term. So some did a lot better than others. And we can also click and go back to those terms, those search results as well. All right, 
So if there's no questions, further questions about some search opportunities within the database, I am going to go ahead and hop back into our presentation and share some additional resources. Here at Plano Public Library, we do offer a book librarian service. It's something you can book online to sit down with a librarian for a 30 minute session to assist in research of a topic um, of your choosing, as long as it falls within the scope of our service. Uh, that is detailed online on that on our website. Uh, but if you wanted help with market research or you're looking for specific business plans and you're having a hard time utilizing a resource to find that information, we are more than happy to help you with that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we also do have a, a partnership with Dallas Score Mentors, and they are at Shimelfinick Library every Thursday. You do need to make an appointment in advance for that Thursday. Um, there is a phone number on our website as well as in our programming brochure to reach out to them, or you can go to their website to make that request. We don't like to forget that we also have some great items in our collections for business plans and business research. Um, if you're looking at nonfiction, you're looking for the 658s. And as I mentioned at the very beginning of this program, this will be recorded and added to our YouTube channel which we have a number of programs recorded and available on that site for your viewing and refreshing of information. And we do again have other business related databases. Um, too many that are not listed here, but we have LinkedIn Learning, Udemy. We have the business Gale One File resource, which is more broad than the entrepreneurship database. Um, it has more of a global view, if that's something you're interested in. And we do finally have my favorite reference solutions. If you're looking for information on how to use reference solutions, we do have an online recording of how to specifically use it for market research, as well as a more general recording for just basic overview of the database. And finally, we do have some upcoming programs. Um, we do, of course, have our recurring monthly team up for entrepreneurial success. Um, this is actually not meant to be 427. That should be 227. So we have this every month. So February, March, and April, and we'll have it throughout the summer. Uh, this month in February, we actually do have the uh, Intellectual Property Office visiting us to give a presentation on understanding intellectual property. If you can't make it this month, they will be back in April on the 10th for a virtual program on understanding intellectual property. Um, and it is geared towards how does this affect your business? So if you've ever been concerned about trying to sell something and if it does infringe on copyright, this is the program for you. And we also have in April, Digital Presence, Elevate Your Brand Online with the It Factor at 6.30 p.m. at Par Library that is in person. It is not going to be hybrid. So please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all so much for attending. Um, if you have any further requests for program opportunities, um, please let us know. We're here to help. Thank you all again. Thank you so much for attending today's program.